Welcome back to Living 808. Keiki Oka Aina Family Learning Centers infuses the Hawaiian culture into all its programs. One of the cultural activities is board and stone classes. Here to tell us more about that is Momia Kana, Executive Director at Keiki Oka Aina, and cultural specialist Uncle Earl. How's it? Fine, thank you. Thank you How for are being you? here. Good to see you. And I want to ask you first, real quick. Let's let everybody know. Of course, I know. But let's let everybody else know what Keiki Oka Aina does. Mm -hmm. So, um, our specialty is culture based education through family engagement, and we yeah. are statewide with our programs. And Board and Stone, I, I know what that is, but let's explain what Board and Stone is. And, and then let's also, I want you guys to tell me why you've incorporated this into, into your activities and your classes. Ten years ago, I went back to Molokai to teach a class mm -hmm. on pounding poi. I was so distraught because I had to take 12 boards and 12 stones to the land of my birth, where poi pounding was the way of life. I returned to Oahu, I returned to Oahu, and I decided that I wanted to teach board and stone again. This and I met great. Momi, Momi Akana at, uh, at an event, and she quoted me, and today board and stone is taught at Keiki Okaina in Kalihi. Let's, let's just explain. I know what it is, and we're seeing some video here, but let's let everybody know what board and stone actually means. What does that mean for, for those that don't know? Tell us what that means. Board and Stone. Board and Stone is an activity that brings families together. And in the process of bringing families together, we enable families to change their lives. Uh, in particular, dads in the program, after going nine weeks of classes mm -hmm. with us in our program, said, I am a, chica. I am a better dad. Mm -hmm. I'm a better husband. But their knowledge has also improved as well in the process of learning to carve boards and stones using a koi. What yeah. I love about the video that you're seeing right now is you're actually seeing children and families. They're all engaged. They're all together. And the children want to know what is this mm -hmm. thing that the parents are so absorbed in mm -hmm. that they're not uh, standing there looking at their telephones for what, five minutes. So. What, do you, what do you think it's meant to the families? Oh, my gosh. It teaches them parenting. Mm -hmm. It yeah. empowers fathers on how to become the head of the family again. Um, and mostly it brings them back to their culture. Yeah and has created such a desire for um, uh, continued use of kalo that now we're importing you know, 700 to 1,000 pounds of kalo every month mm -hmm. and nobody can supply us, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just want to recap real quick. Board and Stone uh, classes allows you to learn how to carve out the boards that are used to pound poi and also the stone pounding uh, mm -hmm. that, that goes on uh, in making making poi out of the kalo. So this is, I think this is great. And you're seeing uh, children of all ages learning yes. something that yeah. used to go back to old Hawaii. I mean, mm -hmm. it, was, it was something that, uh, that was a staple in many households, yep. uh, learning how to pound poi. Yes. It was a way of life. It was. It, was, it really was a way, was a way of life, life. yes. yes. Uh, what else has happened because of these classes? Oh, my goodness. So it really has changed how Keiki Oka Aina mm -hmm. um, teaches because what it made us see was that the most powerful transformational thing that we could do is to bring culture in. It, it brings families in and it allowed them to come to a safe place and then we can introduce all our other educational programs. But they come for the culture. Yeah, yeah, and, and they, uh, come exactly. for, they come for Uncle Earl. Yeah. I I, I, of course, Uncle <laughs> Earl Kova. Uh, uh, I, I want to uh, just see. I know that these are done, but if, could you just show me what what how this tool would in fact be used? Could you just kind of demonstrate what it would look like if if somebody were to be carving? How how would this? Because the board is is big and it's not light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. So what? How would exactly would this be used? I mean, I don't don't I don't want to damage the board. We, but we, if you could just demonstrate. Exactly, you don't want to damage the board. Well. <clears throat> To begin with, mm -hmm. we use Kua Aina methodology, Kua okay. Aina methodology to teach ancestral practice. One of that Kua Aina is to take things that are grown naturally here in Hawaii mm -hmm. okay. and we turn them into tools as did. We've replaced the Hawaiian stone, the Allah stone, with, uh, with steel. Okay. And this, this class is, is really about, uh, about learning the ways of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. So it is not a shop class. So families and, uh, are, are required to learn the names of the strokes in carving. Mm -hmm. For example, it's not just hitting the board. Okay. The large stroke, yeah, the large stroke is called kimo. kimo. That's ancestral. Okay. So I bring that kind of knowledge to the class today where it's lost. That's it. And the finishing stroke, okay. the finishing stroke is when the blade is laid down and the stroke is, is is a shaving stroke. Mm -hmm. It's called kahi.
Okay. Okay. So I'm able because I'm 100 years old and I've done this a thousand <laughs> times. They said, I'm able to apply both the power stroke and the finishing stroke together. Wow. Called Kimo Kahi. So the families will literally learn how to do yes. protocol, go up into the mountains, cut their own koi, mm -hmm. um, and then there's other classes. We open lo'i, so they learn how to do all of that. We go in and we work in lo'i. And then there's a pa'akai class where they learn about um, how to soak the boards in traditional uses of salt. If so. somebody inter is interested in taking their family, bringing their family to a class, real quick, we're out, we're out of time. I want to know how somebody can learn more about it. Go to our website, www.coca.org, yes. and uh, sign up for the orientation classes in December. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much. That's for where you can find us. Appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, coming up on Living It Away, Adventist Health Castle.